Hello everybody. So today I will talk about operation management. The topic today is about work station. So now I will show you how to answer. Question A, draw the residence diagram. So now I will show you how to answer. If you look carefully about the task from A to H, so the first one, that's about A, and in here we don't have res predecessors. So that means we can put A at the first one, and we have 60 seconds. B, C, D, we have A in here. That means we have B, C, and D. They will connect with A. So B is about 80 seconds, C that's about 20 seconds, and D that's about 50 seconds. Now about E, they connect with B and C, so I will put E in here. About E, we have 90 seconds. The next one, we have F connects with C and D. So about F, we have 30 seconds, 3 connect E and F, and we have 30 seconds, and the last one is about H, 60 seconds. Now we just finished about question A. What is the work station cycle time required to reduce 240 units per day? So now we need to find about cycle time. Equals to operating time we divide to decide output and we know that's operating time we have 8 hours, so we have 8 hours, but in about work station, they use about second, so we need to convert hours into second, so we need to multiply by 60 minutes, 60 second, we divide to total output, that's about 240 units. We calculate about this one, and we have about 120 seconds per unit. 
Now we can find about theoretical number of work station. So we need to find the total task time in here. We sum all the number in here. And we have 420 seconds. So the formula in here, that's about total task time. We divide to cycle time. So we have about 420, we divide by 120, we have 3.5. So that means we draw up the number in here and we have 4 work station. And this is the question B. Question, question C balance this line using the longest task time. Here is about the answer for question C in here. So we need to assign about AD for one work station, BC for work station number two, and so on in here. I just calculate in here for you. And now we calculate about idle time. To calculate about time remaining, we know that we have 120 seconds in here. So we have 120. We minus 60, we have 10 remaining. Later that we have 60 minus 50, we have 10. And this number in here, that's about the idle time in here. Similar for this one, we have 80. 120 minus 80, we have 40. Later that, number 40 in here, minus 20, we have 20. And so on, we can do similar for number 3 and number 4. And the last one is about efficiency. That's e about 1 minus the total of idle time over number of work station. multiply by cycle time multiply by 100% so the total idle time we have 10 20 30 we sum all the number in here and we got about 60 over we have four work stations we multiply by 120 we multiply by 100 percent and we have 87.5 percent and this is the final answer. That is the end. Thank you for watching.